Well, for the past two weeks, I have taken you behind the scenes of NBC's most popular franchise, where the first word in the show's title is Chicago. From the police to medical doctors and now fire, all of these first responders really have unique stories to tell that are almost always connected. It is one city, one Chicago, one family. I'm bringing out one adult now. No! The danger and drama of fighting fires. Anybody who's willing to rush into danger when everybody else is rushing out is very rewarding and humbling for us to get to play. Is reserved for only the brave. I have an immense respect for first responders, firefighters, police officers, our armed forces. I think there's something about um, heroism that just allows you to be a grounded human being. The dramatic series, Chicago Fire, is celebrating its 100th episode. I was invited to the sound stage to show you how to keep the actors safe during those intense scenes. This was a, uh, for an episode that's coming up, and that's the electrical room of a warehouse, and you're standing in the lunchroom of that same warehouse building. A lot of times we can't do fires inside a building when we go to a lot of safety, a lot of trouble to make sure the exteriors look right. We can't do that at location. This incident here takes place now inside of a warehouse with a rescue and a few surprises. All right, Jen, go ahead and light your white gas. Anyway, yes. Fires up. Fires are up. And action. Three, two, one. Fire. Fire. Fire out. Fire, fire out. out. Fire out. Rescue mission accomplished. But sometimes the actors want to get even closer to the peril. I'm like going down a building and Rick was like, all right, we're going to have the basket right underneath you, like the, the crane. And I was like, no, I want it. I want to feel it. I want to feel it. Like, just move it. And he was like, no, Miranda, no, that's not, that's not how that goes. Let's do our job to get to her. Taylor Kinney stars as the brass Lieutenant Kelly hey, who runs the rescue hey, squad. We've got some really great uh, <laughs> comedic actors on the show and... I don't think we get enough time or they get enough time to, to kind of let loose. She's in shock. I mean, the guy came out of nowhere. There was nothing she could have done to avoid him. So many fans love you and love your character. I'm really enjoying getting to play Sylvie. She's really dorky and not cool and sort of a hopeless romantic. The love of the Chicago franchise of Med, PD, and Fire will cross over into Justice, the newest spinoff with a familiar face. Carl Weathers turning up. And, you know, who I know as an actor for years, we all do. And I get to work with him and do a scene with him. I've not worked with him before. And so it brings the jitters back. It brings the excitement back. And the fun all began with Chicago Fire five years ago. All thanks to Law & Order creator Dick Wolf. And I sincerely hope we are going to achieve what we achieved in New York, which is these crews are going to have second generations on them. And it will always be one city, one family, one Chicago. My hope is that in five years we'll all be back here for 200. <laughs>And again, you can watch Chicago Fire tonight at 10 p.m. only here on Channel 13. And please stay tuned for the fourth show of the franchise, Chicago Justice, that will start early next year. And as you know,